We are back on this fabulous, fantastic Friday. So good to have you with us wherever you're looking at us in the world. Raucous, Carrie and Lisa taking you till 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And uh, it's about time for us to get some information on something called empowering. Yes, yes, that's mm -hmm. right. That's right. So here's to share more information on what you just spoke about is the Ministry of Sport and Youth Affairs, the youth division to be uh, exact. And we are going to be chatting with Ophelia Caldera, who is a youth officer too. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. And uh, so welcome. Tell us first, what is Empower TT? Right. Empower TT is a national initiative from the Ministry of Sport and Youth Affairs. And it was created to focus on the empowerment and mentorship of young men. We, fo we, we, we paid attention to young men between the ages of 16 to 29. And uh, how does the uh, program Also, this what we do... Huh? I was just asking... Hello? Uh, are you hearing me properly? I hear you a little bit. All right, let me try to speak up a little bit then. Uh, I was just asking, how does I the program... I hear you better now. Fantastic. How does the program <laughs> help men within this age group, 16 to 29? Um, what we do is we highlight positive male figures um, and we provide a platform for these icons to share their stories and give adv offer advice and guidance to the young men across the nation, well, the 16 to 29 year old male of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, what we also do, we ha it has four components, uh, which is we look at awareness, where we have our lunch talk, where the, young, the icons give their, um, ad offer their advice, tell their stories, plus um, component two, we are looking at, let's say, give me a minute. I'm trying to remember what, because I know comp we already did at least four of these um, lunch talk, I should say, which is component one. Um, component two is where we have the life skill. Component three is where we have the correct guidance. And component four for these young fellas is where we offer a mentorship and voluntary system. Well, part of it. So, what are, what is the what is the um, who are these some of the mentors that you know that you have put in place to come uh, chat with these young men and you know people who that they can they can relate to. Who who are some of these people? Well, we partner with uh, Loose Gents. Uh, Loose Gents is a non-governmental organization. Um, who have been doing this for the longest while. And they are the ones who, who guide us when it comes to getting these icons. We had um, Jaiga, we had um, Bernard uh, Moses, who is with OPM. We have one or two, I mean, we have real young men who actually given up their time. To tell you who again we have offhand, I can't say sorry about that, but a sure communication could send you a list. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> now, you've mentioned the components there, uh, you know, for the lunch talks. Um, let's go through each one in a little more detail. So, you, you spoke of career guidance as, as being one of them. Uh, what type career of guidance work... was the third component. Go yeah. ahead. What type of work did you do on that career guidance forum? Mm. Right now, we are only on the first component, which is the launch talk. So we, we did four already. We did it. One, we started in Maloney and we ended, we went to Tobago, we went to Tagarigua, and then we went to San Fernando. And what was the, what was the topic? And we resuming on Monday at St. James Youth Facility. And what was the topic you uh, touched on for that for those uh, lunch talks that you have done so far? Um, to tell you the truth, uh, what we did before was I am men, or I am, or who I am, right? That is with in in Maloney. Um, we did one. Ba -dum, ba -dum. 
which is goal setting. That is when we went back home in Tobago. We did one called Men's Health Forum. That is when we did it in um, Takarigua. And the last one we did before COVID is Parenting, Fatherhood, and Mentorship. All right. Now, programs like this exist because, you know, there's a perceived lack somewhere. So this is a, this is a program to help empower young men. Uh, what have you seen to support that, you know, uh, that the young men need empowering? What, what are some of the problem areas? Um, what our team did is we have little videos. We went across um, Trinidad and Tobago and we did little videos where we asked um, just the general public, any male, what you will tell your young self. And we realized there are certain things like um, goal setting was, a, was one that come up a lot in the videos, um, parenting, you know. So we use that to form our topics because in St. James, on Monday, what we do in a sex education. All right. Um, that is all we have time for right now. But I want to thank you so much, Ophelia Caldera, Youth Officer 2 from the Ministry of Sport and Youth Affairs, Youth Affairs Division, for joining us this morning. Uh, best of luck in the continued uh, work that you're doing. And thanks again for joining us.